let's have a moment of silence for Kanan. All right. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV. And I am back with another video. I know y'all know this for boxing. This is primarily a boxing channel, but I do cover other things. And I should have been doing this since at the beginning of Season 5. Power is one of my top five favorite shows currently and probably of all time. I'll make a video discussing that another time. But <sighs> Episode 8, A Friend of the Family. So much shit went on in this episode. If you wasn't paying attention, you are already left behind. Fucking Proctor giving up Valdez. Tasha going behind Ghost Bat. Setting up Kanan. Tariq finally, finally becoming who he is. Ghost Jr. A snitch and motherfucker sets you up just like his daddy. And I still fuck with ghosts. But we gotta keep it real. He did Kanan dirty. <laughs> and guess what? His son came back and did Kanan even dirtier. Tommy don't trust ghosts no more. Keisha gotta make a hard decision. Or had to. It was just so much, man. Look, I might be all over the place in this video. <laughs> Bear with me. But... Last night's episode was fire. You got ghosts trying to frame Dre for Rainer's murder. You got Tasha trying to fucking frame Kanan from Rainer's murder. Just to get themselves out of trouble. Because all of it is leading back to them. You got Tasha going back and forth with Tariq. Who at this point has no respect for his father. Although I believe Ghost gained a little bit back from him. A little bit when they in the scene where Ghost went in there to talk to him and was asking him uh, asking him something. I forget what he was asking him. But anyway, he went and told him, look, I'll turn myself in to protect you, Tasha, and and the youngest daughter. I forget her name. She do she rarely in her, she rarely in there anyway. But, you know, at that moment he gained a little respect from Gained a little respect back for uh from Tyreek. And little did we know later on, Tyreek would really reveal himself. Tariq, let me say his name right. Tariq would really reveal his true colors and who he really is. All this time, ever since he found out that Ghost was selfish, all about him, a snitch would turn on, you know, would turn on Kanan, you end up doing the same thing. Yes, he was influenced by his mother, who, of course, birthed him and raised him. So, I understand that. But the way you set him up with your mama was so damn dirty. But before we get to that, Proctor, James St. Patrick is on your ass. He on your ass. Y'all remember that scene when he went to Truth to talk to James um, about, you know, we all know he killed the the security guard in season five, uh season four that was played by the late great Charlie Mur Murphy rest in peace to Charlie Murphy you know he he did him dirty he munched his face with the damn weights and Teresi was a witness to that and Proctor go to try to get some more information because Proctor now Proctor now he he not necessarily gonna turn on ghosts and Tommy but he gonna implicate Angela Valdez who is connected knee deep in the shit. Fucking ghosts. Know that Tommy, you know, been having conversation about, you know, with Tommy about doing some shit that she shouldn't have no conversation about him doing, being that, you know, um, she's, you know, a police officer, uh, uh, AD. But Proctor is starting to show that true snake color that he really is, you know, because he's starting to realize that He's at the bottom, he's at the totem pole when it comes to, you know, people that Ghost and Tommy are going to protect. It's going. It's a shitload of people before they get to him. And he's just getting himself ready. At the end of the episode, he did go back and tell, every, you know, uh, uh, Sax and, and Mark that, you know, he don't got any concrete evidence on St. Patrick. But that, that Angela Valdez um, is up to something. 
that's the person you should look at. And then when he said it, they was looking all shocked. Like, damn. And maybe because, you know, they know that Proctor works closely with Ghost and Tommy, so he knows more than they do. So he's setting it up. But Ghost is on his ass, though. That's why Ghost didn't um, divulge more information when he was asking them. Hypothetically, if I turn myself in for something I didn't do, what could be the reperc uh, repercussions? And you see Proctor tried to get him to open back up. And Ghost give him that smile like he always do. Like, that. hmm, I'm on your ass. I know you up to something. You working with you working with somebody to try to you know send me send me away for a long time. Let me fall back. And then you got Dre, who him and Ghost are at odds now because they came to an agreement. Ghost will take out um, Diego Jimenez and Dre will take out Jason, but that didn't happen. Ghost sent Kanan. To do that, and that's exactly what happened. But Kanan, who was tipped off by um, Dre's second in command, I forget that motherfucking name. Um, so he went back to Jason after he killed Diego Jimenez, told, gave him the heads up. So when Dre went to go do the duty, the motherfucker was gone. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Dre was saying to him. Dre on his way to Paris uh, to be with Alicia, who is mourning the loss of her brother. At least I don't think so. I don't think she give a fuck about him for real. But, you know, a lot of shit happened, man. A lot of shit happened in this episode. You got Tommy and Keisha. Keisha finally met, you know, Tom's dad, the snitch, and his wife, Connie, who said, is that the cook? I'm like, bitch, it's 2018. That motherfucker ain't the cook. That's his woman. You know, but, um, you know, uh, they had dinner, and Connie... Straight up told her, look, we on borrowed time with these two. We know Tommy knee deep in the drug game. He got so many bodies, it don't make no sense. Hell, he even killed his baby mama. But he didn't know at the time. So Tommy a loose cannon. Tommy really looking at go sideways now. Keisha, you know, in a situation where she been subpoenaed to, you know, testify in front of a grand jury uh, about the whereabouts of you know, uh, everybody that's involved with the, the Detective Raymond Jones case, Tariq, Tasha, Ghost, Tommy, everybody. And she, she told Tasha, that's not my problem. But then Tasha, being how she is, so you really do this to Tommy? You really do this to Tommy? Knowing damn well she don't give a fuck about Tommy at this point. It's all about herself and keeping Tariq free. Right then she said that, Keisha's like, you know what? Let me think about it. I'll think about it. You make a good point. I'll think about it. And Ghost find out that, you know, the gun is gone because he went to, you know, he got everything set up. He told Tasha, Angela got, uh, you know, surveillance footage of Raymond Jones and Andre talking to each other or Dre talking to each other. They just needed a few more, um, you know, missing pieces to the puzzle and that they'd be ready. You know, he came back to get the gun. And the gun wasn't there. He's like, Tasha, I see you put the gun up. Put the gun in. And then he realized that Tasha took matters in her own hand. Said, fuck you, ghost. I'm not playing by your rules no more. No more. So apparently in a scene we didn't see, her and Tariq got together. She convinced Tariq, look, this is what we need to do. I'm going to give you this gun. I need you to plant that bitch in the trunk on cannon. On Canaan, excuse me. And, you know, she called and, and reported Tariq missing. And they got stopped by the police. <laughs> and from that point, it was it was downhill from there. Tariq, instead of fucking being a stand-up guy that he say he is, and the same thing he mad at his dad about, being a snitch, being a rat, he turned around. And took off the fucking um the mask. And I was like, damn, is that ghost? Is that ghost? You know what I'm saying? And it's interesting though, because when they before they got pulled over, Tariq brought up the fact that Kanan killed Sean, who Tariq was fond of. That was like his big brother. You know what I'm saying? And that happened to be Kanan's uh son. 
And he said, how you kill somebody you love? And Kane was like, shit, they see you, you know. They see you, uh, that, that proves your love or some shit like that. He said, don't worry, though. I wouldn't do no shit like that to you. And he proved that true. He he stayed true to his word. You know, even he had a chance to goddamn open the door on Tariq and, and shoot his, blow his brains out. Because Tariq and Tasha set up Kanan. Not saying that Kanan didn't deserve some of the shit, but I think that Kanan had a raw deal uh, just all the way back where he got set up by Ghost and Tasha. You know, Kanan, they was going to arrest Kanan after Kanan told him. I mean, after Tariq said, yeah, he being held uh, against his will. Kanan told him to take the kid. They were about to arrest Kanan. Kanan took the gun off because you know he wasn't going to go down without a fight. And he killed everybody. I'm talking about headshot. Bow, 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 bow. Got down the last guy said, please, doctor. Boom. Killed him right. Shot him right there in the middle of the head. He looked at Tariq. Hopped in the car. Starting to drive off. God damn, he was losing blood because he had got hit twice. Died. And, you know, that fucked up Tariq. Tasha happy. Tasha happy. Angela happy. Go see, go sad. When Ghost went to go see uh, Mito with Tommy to go view the body to confirm that it was indeed Kanan that got killed, you could tell he wanted to cry. And their relationship with Tommy and, and Ghost's relationship is further strained. But Tasha, Angela, Valdez, they think that this is a win for them. Not, but they got to think about this. Look, this is more and more traumatic shit that's happening to Tariq. Simple as that is more traumatic situation that's happened to Tariq. And he was very fond of Kanan. I mean, that was his dog. He loved Kanan. And so now, how long will he be able to keep that, what they did a secret before it all comes down and comes out? That, you know, Tasha had something to do with it. That's the thing they're going to have to keep um, keep in mind. And I don't know if Tariq is built to to do that. You know, he had a, he had his guy set up. And obviously, he didn't intend for him to get killed. But he had to know that Kanan is a serious motherfucker. Ghost told him. Dre told him. He had to know in his dealings that Kanan wasn't nobody to be fucked with. He seen him beat the fuck out of the man in the previous episode. Seen him kill my man. But, you know, this is the life he chose. And this is what it is, man. Uh, it was a great episode. Uh, we seen Tariq, goddamn, get some get back. Some young niggas was, you know, they sold him, you know, they gave him a fake 20. Goddamn, he pulled up, get the strap, got out. Goddamn, boom, boom, boom. They ran off, he got the shit back. But, man, we seen Kanan die, man. Kanan, Kanan is gone. Proctor is sitting up. Ghost and Tommy and Angela. Um, Ghost is on the, don't own the Proctor. Ghost and Tommy at odds. So we have to see. It's two more episodes, man. Two more episodes left. It's going to be on and popping, man. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Give me your thoughts on last night's episode. If you watch Power, you know, let me know. Was you surprised by the outcome? Do you think Kanan should have went out like he went out? I thought he could have went out better. I think he, he, he should have went out with more dignity. Uh, but, you know, it kind of came full circle, man. Um, and, you know, he loved Tariq <laughs> like a son. That's why he didn't fucking pull the trigger. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you enjoy the content throughout the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like, uh, hit that post notification bell button to be notified every time I upload content. Uh, I'll be doing more reviews on this show and then some of my other favorite shows as they start to come back. Boxing video still gonna be in effect. Shout out to uh everybody, man. Um, that's on a boxing grind. Share these videos, man. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.